Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy E. Coming to you from uh, Arizona, uh, California State Line, Quartzsite, Arizona. Um, right, I got, a, I got a request to show how to do a, a blindside backing. So I figured we had a pretty good open parking lot. And uh, I figured it was a good opportunity to go ahead and, you know, film a, a blindside backing. Okay, so uh, what we're going to attempt to do, you see the truck behind me? We're going to attempt to blindside right, behind, uh, right, right next to it. Um, blindside backing is pretty much, uh, is, is pretty much a, um, a difficult backing. Uh, I would really highly recommend that you hold it off as, unless it's a last resort. Um, for so many reasons, mainly because you can't see, uh, you know, as as well as you can from the driver's side. Uh, back, the blind side backing requires a lot of uh, getting out to look. So, you know, sometimes you have to inch it. Sometimes you have to move, you know, feet, you know, foot by foot, and then you have to get out and you have to look. Uh, but what we're going to talk about is the setup right now for for the blind side. So, uh, setup is somewhat similar to how we did um, the driver side backing in the in the previous video. So here we go. We have our target. This is our space right here. Uh, our driver's side will end up right here. So we're going to take our, we're going to take some points. I see the corner of um, of that block right here. This block, in that corner of it. That's our, that's our first fixture. Directly in front of it is going to be the the back end of these cars. Okay, so that's our straight line. We have our 45. Our 45 is going to be not this pillar, but this, but this pillar or in between the pillar and the tree. So that's our 45. Okay. So similar to last time, here's how it's going to kind of run. Okay. He's going to go ahead and drive up, and we're going to be seven feet out from the nearest object. So I'm lined up with the nearest object. I go out two, four, six, eight. I'll even say ten feet out from the nearest object. Ten feet out, one foot in, and that puts me lined up with what we said. Uh, from here, from here we're going to go ahead and uh, and we're going to just drive. And when our um, when our drive wheels uh, hit the middle of our of our uh, of our target or our lane or a hole that we're going to that we want to get into, we want to go ahead and pull to the uh, to the left. And then from there, we're going to hold for two or three seconds because we have all this open space right here. And uh, we're going to hold for maybe in between two to four seconds, and then we're going to pull right. We're going to pull to the right again, and eventually we're going to we're going to angle out. So it's going to go something like this. So we're driving. We're going to pull to the left about two to four seconds. Two, three, four. We're going to pull back out this way, and then we're going to dip in just a little bit to where we have a target. And now we're back to being in alignment with our target on the blind side. Okay. Um, so that's what we're going to do. From there, he's going to do the two things that we that, that our primary backing. You're going to have your jackknife, and you're going to have straightening out the face. Um, and pretty much, it's just going to be a combination of the two: jackknife, jackknife, straighten out the face, straighten out the face, and and, and you're going to inch it into the hole. You're going to get out and look, uh, minimum twice, obviously, when you set up and two uh, right before you approach the hole and when the blind side my recommendation is you get out like every someone just to keep looking and uh, keeping an eye on the nearest top the nearest uh, object to where you don't hit it so uh, we're gonna have him bring around the truck and uh, and we're gonna put this thing in the hole So we'll go, we're lined up with the nearest object right here. And we're two, four, six, eight, ten. So right now we're looking pretty good, and now Ray's gonna go ahead and uh, set it up. Okay, hold right there.
all right. The setup went pretty well. He held uh, in between the two to four seconds, and then he went over to his right, uh, barely peeking over. So uh, he has a good line of sight from the blind side. And uh, we're going to go and demonstrate the three approaches or the three techniques that we use to, uh, to give ourselves some vision. All right, we went ahead and we cut the engine for a minute so we can show you guys a, a demonstration of uh, the three ways that we can get a good visual on our, on our object whenever we're doing a blind side. So Ray's going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, uh, using your right, your right hand side mirror or your passenger mirror. So what you do is you adjust. And what that does is it adjusts the mirror to the right. All right, so that's our, that's our first technique is um, adjusting your right-hand side mirror. The second technique is going to be getting out and looking from inside the cab. So Ray's going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate that move. Awesome. Okay, which is a, that's a good move, but that's never to substitute the old good, good old-fashioned get out and looking from outside the cab. So. Uh, what we're going to do here, same concept, we're going to walk around full 360 on the truck and we're checking our face, making sure that we have plenty of room, which we do. From there, we're going to check the back side of the cab or the back side of the trailer to make sure we're, we're clear of anything, and we are. All right, as you can tell, he has some pretty good room between uh, the, the back end of the trailer and uh, the nearest object. So we have room to work, so it's not going to be such a hard jackknife, but it's just going to be a subtle jackknife, little by little. And then coming around, everything looks clear. So he's ready to rock and roll. All right, now the part that's going to take practice is going to be the actual jackknifing part. Uh, jackknife too soon, you bump into the object. Jackknife too late, you end up into another stall and bumping into that object if there is one. So uh, it's little by little, and that's where the getting out and looking is going to have to come into play uh, more often than not. Jackknife, jackknife. All right, so assessing the situation, it looks like uh, like he has potential room to uh, continue going back and then um, jackknife this a little bit more and then get it ready to straighten out. Uh, to straighten out. This is the part that's gonna take practice, but I think he can land it. As you can tell, he's he's approaching the hole pretty well. Uh, he can do for some more jackknifing, and then uh, and then you know gently straightening it out, and um, he should land right inside the hole. Jack now. Jack now. Straighten out.
So uh, what he's checking for right now is um, how close he is to touching the, the, the object. Now when you go from jackknife to straightening out, um, the, the trailer takes time to react to, to, to going straight. So what it, can, what it tends to do is continue on the curve. Uh, if you you know it continues on the curve as you straighten it out so um you always want to take that in consideration that it's not going to straighten out at, on a dime but uh but rather it's going to it's going to subtly straighten out as time goes by so you got to allow uh especially if your kingpin is or your uh, your uh your tandem is pulled in um and you have you know a swing that it takes anywhere from eight to ten seconds for the for, the, for those tires to react to that swing um uh, but if your tandem's a pull all the way back and what have you then uh then the reaction time is a little bit less All right, well that concludes the blindside backing. Uh, once again, it takes time and it takes practice. You gotta have a good setup. Um, get out and look as many times as you need to. Uh, don't forget the, the, the techniques, you know, using and adjusting your right side mirror, uh, getting out and looking within the cab and getting out and looking outside the truck and, and walking the whole trailer doing the 360. Um, you know, each, each inch or each foot that you back up, maybe if you're in a tight spot, you wanna go ahead and get out and look on that too. Um, and uh, it's not about, you know, putting in the whole, you know, first time seamlessly. You know, if you have to pull forward, do the pull forwards. But bottom line is get in the hole safely, uh, not hitting anything, no accidents. And, and, um, and that's the target. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you know, hit the comment line. Uh, but we hope you enjoyed that one. Till then.